want to take gorgeous photos of your enamel pins for your Instagram and your website? Watch this video and I will show you exactly how I organize and shoot all of my product photos at home with my phone. And if you love talking about pins and learning about pins and making pins, you should subscribe, hit that bell, be notified. I put up videos every Friday and it's going to be awesome and you should do it. If you're not sure where to start with product photos, by the end of this video, you'll know exactly what you need to organize, shoot, and batch all of the photos you could possibly need for all of your content. Um, I have been using this exact method for the last few years and I have grown my Instagram by tens of thousands and I have sold thousands of pins through my site all using the same photos all shot on my phone from home so stick around I'm excited to get into it okay so here's my setup I work right in front of the window and always have my trusty foam core at hand I like to have my props and backgrounds close. So I've got this little space dedicated to those things. Um, I've got more in the closet though. I have a problem with props. <laughs> so the biggest thing you need to know about lighting is that you want it to be natural light, you want it to be bright, and you want it to be diffused. So you don't want to have uh, direct sunlight creating harsh shadows, unless that's the look you're going for. But for general rule for Instagram, for uh, product photos, you want a no nice soft light and no harsh shadows. So I use the, um, there's a curtain in front of my windows or I'll adjust the blinds so there's no like direct sunlight uh, pointing at my pens. And when you're working with one light source like my window, uh, you want to be able to bounce the light back at your pen. So if you don't have anything on the other side of your pen, the light's coming in and then it just kind of shines right past and then it's brighter on one side and darker on the other because there's less light touching the other side of your photo because it's just moving on past. Um, but you can stop that light, bounce it back using foam core just like I did here. So here you can see um, what it looks like. You can see how the light is bouncing back. Like you can just see it on the table, how much brighter it looks. So here I've got a picture um, with <laughs> the um, foam core and without the foam core. So you can see the difference here. This is the photo I just took <laughs> in uh, like two seconds ago. So uh, you can see the difference. I love using it. You can get reflectors if you want, professional ones. Uh, you could also put another light up um, on that side if you have a ring light or a light box of some sort you can do that too but you can also just go to your local craft store or target and get a piece of foam core for pretty cheap and not have to worry about it <laughs> okay so you can see in my little setup i have lots of backgrounds and i have a few little props that i use that i like to grab um every now and then so let me know in the comments if you have any special props or like types of backgrounds that you like to use in your videos. I would love to know what you like using and um, what you think looks best with your pin. So let me know below, I wanna know. So moving on to choosing backgrounds and props. So all of the papers I just showed you are just scrapbooking paper from the craft store. So you can get them for a dollar or less a sheet, hopefully less. Um, the glitter papers can be a little bit more, but I love it because pens are small enough that you can use tiny backgrounds. You don't need a giant seamless or anything. You can just get a little 12 by 12 piece of paper and, and go with it from there. I love them. <laughs> and when you're choosing backgrounds to use, um, always pick something that doesn't have a lot of pattern or uh, busy illustrations or anything like that. The ones I have are have uh, glitter, um, more subtle glitter, chunky glitter, glitter paper. Uh, but they're mostly solid colors with a little bit of texture in them. I don't like using things with excessive patterns or a lot of contrast or anything that's super busy because that really takes away from your pen. And you want that to be the thing that jumps out. You don't want it to like um, just get lost in a sea of pattern. So like I love origami papers, but they need to have a super subtle, low contrast kind of pattern on them because a lot of them are really bright and colorful and have fun patterns, but it's just too much. You want your pen to shine. That is the most important thing. You want people to see your work and not the background. 
and play around. There are a lot of fun ways you can use uh, different backgrounds and stuff. So like layer your papers. Um, Me So Happy does this really well. She uses gorgeous colors that work with her branding and they make her, um, they make her product photos like amazing. Um, you can also use props like I Am Luna Soul does a really great job using like little doilies or um, just little uh, fake faux plants, uh, flowers and stuff like that. I, I love the pictures that she takes. Um, so Take a look and see what other people are doing and put your own spin on it. Have fun, play around, see what looks good, but always remember to make sure that your pin is the thing that is standing out in every photo. If you're planning on using these photos for Instagram, be sure to check out my video, Instagram Basics for Pin Makers. And I have lots of tips and tricks to how to make a beautiful feed in that video, so definitely check it out. And I like to uh, plan out all my shoots before I do it. So what I like to do is uh, batch my content. I'm sure you've heard me talk about it before. Batching is everything to me. <laughs> uh, it's the only way I get things done. And I like to take a chunk of time. I'll plan out like two hour block of time if I can. Hour sometimes, half an hour some other times to take as many photos as possible. So what I'll do is I will kind of make a list of what, um, what pens I want to shoot, what I want to promote. So I will make a list of those. I'll make a list of the backgrounds that I want to use. And then I will bring it all out and take all the photos all at once. And when I have the backgrounds out, I'll take multiple photos from different angles of the same thing. So then I have an even larger bank of photos to choose from. So I'll take like three different angles, I'll move them around, I'll just get a lot of variety on one background, and then I will you know, bring the next batch of pins over and take a picture of those on the same background and just cycle through like that, just snap, 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 photos all over the place until I have as many as I need, until I've used all the backgrounds I need to, and then I can just go into editing the photos and then I can batch edit them too, which is really awesome. But it is the quickest way that I've found. So that way you're not worrying about doing it every day. You've got uh, like a whole mass of photos ready to go and ready to post whenever you need them. So if you schedule the time to batch that every couple of weeks or even once a month, then you're golden for like weeks. It's awesome. <laughs> Okay, so now you've seen exactly how I set up my photos, how I batch to make the most of it, how I organize my time, and you're ready to start shooting, but you're not quite sure what to do. Click down below. I've got a great one sheet uh, photo inspiration guide for you. So you can use that as a jumping off point, get your creative juices flowing, and use those tips and tricks and, and different types of photos to take to really put your own spin on it and get creative. I'm really excited to see what you do. Click down below, check that out. It will really help. Okay, if you liked this video, please let me know by giving me a subscribe, give it a, a like, a thumbs up, and uh, comment down below what you found most helpful. And most importantly, comment down below with a camera emoji. I was ready this time. I knew exactly what emoji I wanted you to use. <laughs> um, give me a camera emoji if you found this video helpful. I really appreciate you watching, and I will see you next week. Bye!